everybody, this is Tracy Walzak with Exit Realty here in the Bitterroot Valley of Western Montana. One of the questions I get from a lot of people is a septic approval for a piece of bare land. You really want to make sure that you get that prior to purchasing your property because you cannot assume that you will get that approval and if you don't, that can really affect whether you can build on the land and also the future val value of the land. So recently I was working with a buyer who had a piece of property he really liked, but there wasn't any septic approval. And so we were able to negotiate uh, an offer with a seller that had that seller um, pay to have a backhoe taken out, dig some holes and have the county help people come out uh, look at the soil compositions and some other factors, nitrate factors and some other things, and determine in effect that there could be septic approval. So that was a win for my client. Uh, conversely, if you don't have that done uh, by the seller, you can also undertake that cost uh, as a buyer. Um, it's a risk, but if that's so important to you, then you need to have that done before you close on a property and make sure it's contingent. Those costs are typically two to four hundred dollars plus the cost of the back hole. If you cannot be here, I meet the health uh, county health people there and uh, stand in for you to make sure everything's uh, done right. Another factor is that sometimes there are certain parts of our valley that have. Uh, you know, they have flood irrigation, they have certain kind of soil compositions that require what we call groundwater monitoring. And that means that the county again comes out and they um, look at the composition of the soil over time and determine if that is something that they feel comfortable giving you septic approval. So those are really things uh, to consider when you're purchasing beer land here in Montana.